Hello everyone. My name is Satoshi Ido. I'm a technical marketing associate at Alpaca. Thank you for your continued support and request. We are thrilled to bring you this option tutorials and we'll keep producing more valuable content in the coming month. If there are strategies or concepts you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps fellow algo traders discover our content while supporting our channel. In this video, we'll demonstrate an advanced option strategy called the Zero DTE, Zero Dates to Expiration option, with a short put vertical spread strategy, which is often called the bull put spread. With the latest API update, you can now execute a level 3 multi leg option strategy directly on our platform. Before we dive in the specifics of this strategy, Let's first set the stage by understanding its core principles and why traders might use it. The essence of a zero DT option strategy is trading options that expire within mere hours, no time for second guessing and no overnight risk. With virtually little time left, these trades capitalize on intense time decay and may produce quick outcomes, but they also amplify any other burst price movement. If the market behaves as you predict for just the remainder of the day, you may be able to generate profits in short time frame. However, even a brief pullback can be costly if you're on the wrong side of the move. A short put vertical spread is often used in zero DT strategies. You can sell a higher strike put and buy a lower strike put, both expiring today. The short put collects premium while the long put caps losses if the market falls. If the underlying stays above the short strike as the clock ticks down, you get to keep the credit. These trades can result in rapid gains or losses due to the rapid time decay. If you're more interested in exploring these advanced strategy further or understanding how indicators like Option Greeks, Implied Volatility, or RSI factor into multi-leg trading, Check out our educational resources at Alpaca Learning page. And for an overview of option trading with Alpaca Trading API, check out our previous video. We've included the link to the video along with other useful contents down below. Before we start coding, please note that we are using SPY as an example of underlying asset, and it should not be considered investment and advice. The code assumes a flat interest rate does not consider dividends, does not consider whether the market is open or closed. It also does not consider whether you already own the underlying security. The code in this video should only be considered a starting point to creating your own zero DTE option trading strategy and not a finished strategy. It will require adaptation and testing before being used in live trading. Also, on expiration date, please be careful that Alpaca enforces 3.15 p.m. Eastern Time Cutoff for submitting new orders. For broad-based ETFs such as SPY, QQQ, etc., the cutoff for submitting those orders is 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Any orders submitted after this time are automatically rejected. This early cutoff provides a buffer before 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time when we begin auto-liquidating expiring positions. For broader based ETFs, we begin auto liquidating at 3.45 p.m. Eastern Time to manage risk. Now let's get into it and start deploying a zero DT option strategy with Alpaca's trading API. First, we install and import the necessary libraries in Python, such as AlpacaPy, Pandas, and NumPy. If you haven't installed them yet, Please do so before proceeding. Next, we configure our Alpaca Trading API key and a secret key. In the video description, you'll find instructions on obtaining these if you are new to Alpacas. For demonstration, we're using a paper trading environment. Make sure the paper parameter is set to be true so you don't accidentally trade with real capital. We then specify key parameters for our zero DTE strategy, the underlying symbols such as SPY, expiration range, strike price thresholds, open interest requirements, and maximum buying power in your Alpacas account. 
Predefining these constraints help maintain a discipline and ensure you only enter trades under conditions you've considered acceptable. We also define parameters like the put spread width, delta ranges, and the amount of premium we need to collect before initiating a position. Equally important are our profit targets, stop loss levels. These help us exit trades on time and mitigate losses. Keep in mind, these are just a handful of the many metrics you could track. There is no one size fits all approach, so refine them according to your own risk tolerance and trading style. To fetch the underlying ETFs market data, we build several functions. First, we make the get underlying price customized function to create the latest trade data for our chosen symbol, in our case, SPY. This helps us pinpoint the current price and give us us a reference for setting our desired strike prices. Okay, we now know the SPY's current market price is $601.3 at the time of recording this video. Next, we calculate the minimum and maximum strike levels based on the present percentage range, which we define as strike range. If you remember, this range, we defined it previously around 10% up or down, ensure we only consider strike that lie reasonably close to the current market. We then define zero DT options function that fetches only those put options expiring today with active status within the strike price boundaries we just established. By filtering on parameters like strike price, asset status, and contract type, we focus strictly on short put vertical spread candidates. Once we have this filtered option chain, we can proceed to analyze and select the specific strike that fits our criteria for delta, implied volatility, and the premium we aim to collect. Having fetched our zero DTE option chain, the next step is to measure each option's potential risk and reward characteristics while establishing a clear plan for closing trades. We're focusing on two critical calculations, implied volatility and delta, and then outline how we exit our short put vertical spread when our stop loss or profit target kicks in. First, we use a custom calculated implied volatility function Grounded it in the Black Scholes model to find a volatility value that align with the current option price. This function handles scenarios like near expiration options, price close to intrinsic value, and it applies a minimal time, which is noted as t here, of 1 times 10 to the negative 6 to avoid uh, dividing by 0. Next, the calculate delta function estimates how sensitive an option is to change in the underlying asset price, for puts delta is negative. Reflecting an uh, inverse relationship is to underline. Both implied volatility and delta inform us whether the potential reward outweighs the risk, especially critical when trades can move quickly on expiration day. Finally, the close spread function makes exiting a short put vertical spread straightforward by simultaneously selling the long put and buying back the short put in a multi-leg market order. In the live setup, you can trigger this exit when your delta stop loss or profit target signals. With implied volatility, delta, and a well-defined exit plan in place, you gain more control over your short put vertical spread. Having identified how to calculate deltas and implied volatility, the next step is to pick the specific short and long puts for our vertical spread. We do this by running the find short and long puts function, which scans through our zero DT option chain and narrows it down to contract with delta around negative 0.40 and negative 0.20. These thresholds set in the short put delta range and long put delta range variables help us systematically locate puts that match our preferred risk profile. Inside of this function, we also verify that each contract open interest is above a minimal requirement 
which we define here at 500, and ensuring there is enough liquidity to open and close positions quickly. Once we find a short put and a delta near negative 0.40 and long put near negative 0.20, we store their symbols, strikes, current prices, and other key details. This screening process keeps the spread width and credit targeting in check, usually aiming for at least one third of the spread's width in premium. If a pair of puts meets these metrics, we'll be able to move on and actually place the trade. If not, we can either adjust our parameters or skip the setup altogether to avoid unnecessary risk. In the next stage, we bring everything together by actually executing the trade and then monitoring it in real time. This customized trade 0DT options function starts by fetching the 0DT option chain for our chosen underline, then applies a fine, short, and a long puts function that we created earlier to locate the short and long puts that matches our delta ranges. Once a suitable pair is found, it checks the spread width, ensures we are getting enough credit, and finally places a multi-leg market order to open the position. Within the same function, we define two key exit triggers. First, there is a profit target, which closes the spread once the option premium has dropped to half of the initial credit we received. This effectively secures potential gains if the position moves in our favors. Second, there's a delta stop loss that compares the current total delta of both puts to the initial delta. If it doubles in absolute value, indicating the trade is becoming more risky, we immediately exit by calling the close spread function that we created earlier. The script loops every few minutes to retrieve updated quotes and recalculates deltas until one of these two conditions is met. For simplicity, this example trades just one contract per leg, which means quantity is equal to one. But in the real account, you'd likely tie the position size to your available margin, maximum acceptable loss, and broader portfolio goals. The function also assumes you have sufficient buying power to cover the entire spread, though you'd normally confirm this in the production environment. To wrap everything up, the final piece of code serves as our entry point for placing and monitoring the 0DTE short put vertical spread. By enclosing the customized trade 0DT options function call with an if name main block, we ensure that trade logic runs only when this script is executed directly rather than when it's imported as a module. Placing the entire process inside a try except statement guards against unforeseen issues such as API connectivity problems or malformed data. And it prints a clear error message if something goes wrong. In a live trading environment, these safeguards are crucial. They allow you to detect anomalies early, log them for reference, and decide whether to retry, pause execution, or switch to manual intervention. You might find there are no suitable options that meet the 40 and 20 delta thresholds, along with other filtering criteria as we've seen in this output. If that happens, feel free to adjust these parameters to suit your comfort level. But please keep in mind that the stricter your selection rules, the less frequently you'll see valid setups. So patience is the key. Waiting for the right timing can help ensure your enter market under condition that align with your strategy. With each piece knotted in place from setting up the environment, fetching and screen options, calculating delta and implied volatility, placing trades and automatically executing in positions, you have functional 0DTE short put vertical spread strategy ready for rigorous backtesting and eventual deployment. Now that have you learned how to set up and execute an advanced option strategy called the 0DT option with the short put vertical spread strategy. The next step is to put your knowledge into practice. 
we strongly recommend starting with the paper trading or practice in your strategy to fine tune your parameters and evaluate its performance under various market conditions. This is a critical step to ensure you're fully prepared for live trading. If you're enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you never miss future strategy guides using Alpaca Trading API. You can also find more videos like this in a dedicated playlist, so be sure to check it out to further expand your knowledge. Lastly, please review the important disclosure in the description below before starting your trading journey. It is essential to fully understand the risk involved with both trading and algorithmic trading. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.